everybody, welcome back to another Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the Brush Preset Stalker. So when you first open up Krita or you're just starting off and you've just installed it, it should be on the right hand side on the bottom and it should say Brush Presets. If you don't have it or you're not seeing it, go to Dockers and Brush Presets and make sure that's checked on. So for the purpose of this video, so we can see what I'm doing, I'm going to take this off of the Docker panel and to do that there's a little icon here next to the X. I'm going to click on it and pull it away. That way we can actually see what's happening and we're not staring at the bottom corner of the screen the whole video. So as you can see when I resize it it changes how many rows and columns that we have visible which is totally fine. Uh, if you need this pulled off of your main canvas window and this is easier for you go for it. There is no right or wrong way you can have for any of this. So first we're going to look at the top drop down menu here where it says all. If I click on the arrow I have a ton of options here. I have the crayon, custom, digital erasers, blah 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 blah. Now the crayon and custom may not be in your brush preset stalker because first the custom one is what I made. Second the crayon one is what I installed from Krita's website for their crayon brushes. And the purple brushes I believe are the same, I can't remember, or they didn't have a, a tag on them, so that was custom as well. So if you don't have those three, that's okay, nothing's wrong with your version, it's just what I put in there myself. So these are the digital brushes that are with the digital tag. We have um, distort, move, some pattern brushes, texture brushes, pixel, blender, all that fun stuff. And then if we go to ink, these are ink brushes. Now obviously it's all digital. But these are specifically meant to imitate ink brushes. You have, what is this? Yeah, Sumi brush, some weird blendy marker thing. Uh, my favorite, which is the Ink 3G pen, which I always recommend, which is what I start with, and some other ink brushes. And you got some pattern ones as, as well. Kind of like stamps. And then you have sketch brushes. You have the RGBA, which is new, Krita 4.7 and above, I believe. I don't remember the right version, but they're, they only come with the newer versions of Krita. So if you go through all this, you can see a ton of different brushes that are coming up. Now one thing to know is it's obviously only showing certain brushes. If I go to all, every brush I have available to me will be listed, but if you go to any of these, it narrows it down to only those that have been associated with that tag, which we'll talk about next. Now if you go over here, we can go to the tag and create a new tag. In my pop-up palette video, I go over what we can um, do with the tag, but I'm gonna go over it again because it's still relevant to the brush presets. So I'm just gonna say brush preset demo. I'm gonna click the plus icon. As you can see for the brush preset demo, I have nothing here. It's empty because I haven't assigned anything to it yet. So if I go back to all, I'll just right click on any of these brushes here that I see and I can go to assign tag. Now anything it's not assigned to already will show up. And because this is here, I have, it doesn't even have a tag yet. So I'm gonna assign it to the brush preset demo. I'm gonna go here. Now this is a different brush I, I right clicked on and you can see that I can remove it from tag. This tells me that it has other tags assigned to it already, which is not a bad thing. So if you have multiple uses for this brush and you need to assign it to multiple tags, that's totally fine. You can take it out, give it as many tags as you need to. So I'm just going to put that back in brush preset demo. And now I'm going to go back to this. So the two brushes I selected and assigned this tag to are now listed in my category I made, or my tag. And if you really want to go further, I'll just do a quick refresher on the pop-up palette when you right click. Move this aside. If you go to this little tag icon, you can see that new tag that we made here as well. And that's gonna show you the two brushes that we added in there just for quick selection. And this is a thumbnail display. So we can change the icon size here. Actually, I'm gonna show it with all because it will show up better. I can make the icon size very, very tiny. If you can see all that and that works for you, good for you. Uh, I can see it, but that's a little much for me. Um, I can make this bigger. I think this is the maximum size it can go. Yeah, that's maximum size. 
which is pretty good. I usually have it around here. Sometimes I have it bigger here depending on my mood. And then you can also change the display type to details. And you can still change the thumbnail icon size and that will still make it bigger or smaller. But this time you will have the number of the brush, like how many brushes you have, I think. That, that, that's right. I can't recall off the top of my head. But regardless, it has the name of the brush next to it along with the icon or thumbnail. So if I scroll down, I can say, okay, so this is an alphabetical order, all the A brushes, the B, C, D, blah, 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 blah. And then somewhere in between are some of my custom brushes that I've made or some that I have imported. So let's go up to... There we go. So as you can see, the crayon brushes that I imported already had some letters assigned to it, so they're still in alphabetical order. I'm trying to find some, there we go. My custom brushes don't have that, but because they start with C, they still get put in alphabetically. I'm gonna put this back to thumbnails. Now, if your brushes do not have any tags assigned, so if I remove it from this tag, Remove from this tag, go back to all. If it doesn't have a tag, it will never show up in any of these other categories. So if this is not assigned to anything, oops, is this the one I use? This one. If this is not assigned to any of these tags, it will never show up in any of these these tags here at all. Never. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you're in some of these and you think, oh, I would think that belongs in digital, but it's not showing up, it's because it doesn't have that tag. And that's, and you can always change the tag on it yourself and add it to whatever. So if you don't want that tag anymore, and you want to get rid of it, it no longer has its use, maybe we're just testing out some new brushes and you just want to quickly access them via the pop-up palette or, or in the brush preset docker, go to tag and go to delete this tag. And then it's gone, it's no longer there. You can always add it back in if you want manually or making a new tag. Uh, it will not delete any of the brushes associated with it though. So if you delete the tag, it's okay. The brushes should still be there. So these screens, they have a tag. They did have a tag assigned to them when I imported them from Creator's website, which is useful. So whatever tag is assigned to those brushes when you import them, it will import that tag as well. Some brushes may not have a tag, in which case you will have to make a custom one yourself. I think these don't have a tag. Yeah, these purple brushes here didn't have any tag assigned to them when I brought them in or when it was loaded with Krita. So I just called them purple brushes and I added some of them to the purple brush category, which is what you can see here. Now some of them do have other tags, paint, um, purple brushes, so it's fine. This one, the blue ones, the new watercolor ones, don't have any tags. So I could go through, make a new tag, call it watercolor, and put all those new watercolor brushes in there as well. And you might want to do that. Maybe you want a watercolor um, option and in your pop-up palette. This would be a good way to do it. So I'm just going to do that right now, just so we can demonstrate it. We'll say watercolor, and we're going to add that. Did I add? There we go. We're going to go to all. I'm going to scroll down to those brushes. Assigned a tag, watercolor for each of these. Okay, so that's done, and now they're all in my watercolor category, or my tag. And now when I go to paint, if I just want the watercolor brushes, I can go to my pop-up palette, and they're in there. I don't know why I rotated my canvas. <laughs> I just did. And if you go to the pop-up palette video, you can learn how to change how many slots you have for the brushes because I'm pretty sure there are more brushes in here than are being displayed. I'm gonna put that back to my custom palette and take that off. You can also search for your brushes, so we'll just say custom. Uh, my, my custom brushes that I named don't have uh, any symbol or icon, so don't worry if you're about the white boxes. But if I type watercolor, if I type in the full name, the brush with that full name in it will show up. So if I hover, it's watercolor fringe, watercolor texture. So if I right click, let's say, these are called wet brushes. So let's go wet. And that all of the brushes that have the, the word wet in it will show up. And as you can see, it's not just the purple ones, it's also some of the blue ones. And that's because it has that word at the end. 
or if I just want to search water. I have all the watercolor related brushes. What is this? Ah, a water stamp, water paint. So yeah, you get the idea. Or you can search ink. You get a ton of different options here. We'll say digital. I don't have any called digital. <laughs> airbrush. I have one airbrush. And that is this texture, I think. Yeah. Oh, hair. Cool. So you get the idea of the search bar. Alright, so let's go and make a new tag. We'll just call it test one. We'll just call it test. So that we made the new tag, we're gonna go down to the search bar and we're gonna search the wet word or wet because there's the brushes that have the word wet in them. And we want all of those applied to the current tag that we have selected, which is the test one. If we hit save, these should all be in that yep, they're all in that tag now. So you can add multiple brushes to a set or to a tag at once without right clicking and doing it all like I just did with the watercolor brushes. And that just makes life a little easier if you're looking for a specific type of brush. Or for example, if you wanna to go to B and any brush that starts with letter B with the um, parenthesis, you can use and add that to your current tag. Maybe you just want all the A brushes and the B brushes together for whatever reason. Um, you can also do that to make it easier to find the brush that you want because if you remember which category or alphabet part they're in in their original title title you can find it like that too all right so that's it for the brush preset stalker i hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to use the brush preset stalker a little easier or learned something new about it if you haven't already make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more creative tutorials more art tutorials and some fun streams coming up as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.